The power and effectiveness of artillery in warfare have been recognized for centuries. Since the invention of gunpowder and the development of cannons and mortars, the ability to deliver explosive projectiles at long range has revolutionized the way armies fight and win battles. Today, artillery remains a vital component of military operations, with a wide range of applications and capabilities that make it an indispensable tool for modern armies. In this scenario, the Boxer RCH-155 is an example of a modern artillery system that embodies the latest technological innovations, offering enhanced mobility, accuracy, and firepower. Its advanced automated systems and digital interfaces enable quick and precise targeting, while its modular design allows for easy maintenance and customization. Overall, the Boxer RCH-155 exemplifies the importance of innovation in modern artillery as armies seek to enhance their capabilities and respond to evolving threats. To begin with, let's have a closer look at its overview and historical background. The Boxer RCH-155 is a German-made self-propelled howitzer that was developed by the German defense contractor developed by Cross Matthew Wegman, KMW, and Rheinmetall Netherlands. It is part of the Boxer family of armored vehicles, which was first introduced in 2004. It uses a 155mm artillery gun module, AGM, and is based on the technology of the battle-proven PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzer. The AGM was created to supplement the PZH-2000 howitzer in situations where larger weapons are not feasible, ill-advised, or too costly. In this case, the AGM provides the same performance as the PZH-2000 but is cheaper to manufacture, requires a smaller crew, and is significantly lighter. The development of the Boxer RCH-155 began in the late 2000s, which was first showcased in 2014 at the Eurosatory 2014 Arms and Military Equipment Exhibition. The purpose of the new project was to meet the requirements for fire characteristics with a new 155mm AGM, while the protection of the vehicle crew, mobility on the battlefield, and the possibility of transporting the vehicle by air or other transport are determined by the specifications of the base vehicle. With the aim of creating a highly mobile and advanced artillery system that could be used for long-range indirect fire support, the system is built on the same chassis as the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicle, which provides it with a high level of mobility and protection. The development of the project also placed great importance on the modularity of the systems, which should provide the new equipment with a great future. The first prototype of the Boxer RCH-155 was completed in 2015, and it underwent a series of tests and evaluations before being introduced into service with the German Armed Forces in 2017. Since then, the system has also been exported to other countries, including Lithuania and Ukraine. In relation to its specification, the self-propelled howitzer has a wheel configuration of 8x8 and utilizes an Avico chassis. It is powered by a diesel MTU-199TE20 engine with a capacity of 815 horsepower. The primary armament of the Boxer is a 155mm L-52 rifled gun with a barrel length of 26 feet and a caliber of 52, which is capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, including high explosive, smoke, and illumination rounds of up to 9 rounds per minute. It also features advanced targeting systems, including a digital fire control system and a laser rangefinder, which allow it to accurately engage targets at long ranges. The vehicle has a length of 34.12 feet, a width of 9.81 feet, and a height of 11.81 feet. It has a weight of 85,908 pounds and is based on an armored personnel carrier platform known as Boxer. The vehicle has a crew of two individuals comprising a driver and a commander. Moreover, it has a maximum speed of approximately 64 miles per hour and can cover a range of up to 497 miles. The vehicle can ford water obstacles up to a depth of roughly 5 feet and it can climb slopes of up to 60%. It also comes with an automatic ammunition loading system, 
and can store 39 rounds on board. The howitzer has an elevation range of minus 3 degree to plus 70 degree and a traverse range of approximately 30 degree with its maximum firing range is up to 25 miles. In terms of communication and fire control, the Boxer RCH-155 features integrated digital systems that are capable of secure voice and data transmission. It's worth noting that these specifications are subject to change as the development of the Boxer RCH-155 continues and more information becomes available. Design and Safety The Boxer RCH-155 self-propelled howitzer is based on the Boxer multi-purpose armored personnel carrier which is designed to provide high-level protection against ballistic and blast threats. The base vehicle has a modular design, which allows it to be configured for a wide range of roles, including command post, ambulance, repair and recovery, and more. The vehicle is equipped with an NBC protection system and a fire suppression system. It is also equipped with AGM with an automatic loading system, which reduces the crew's exposure to enemy fire. High maneuverability. Indeed, the Boxer RCH-155 is designed to have high mobility, which is one of its key features. The system is built on the chassis of the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicle, which provides it with a high level of mobility and maneuverability on the battlefield. The Boxer RCH-155 is equipped with a powerful diesel engine and advanced suspension system, which allows it to travel at high speeds on both paved and unpaved terrain. It is also designed to be air transportable, which means it can be quickly deployed to different locations by aircraft or other transport vehicles. The high mobility of the Boxer RCH-155 allows it to quickly respond to changing battlefield conditions and engage targets from multiple positions, making it a valuable asset for supporting ground troops during combat operations. Finally, we come to the main discussion of why Boxer RCH-155 is being called a weapon of Ukrainian victory. Prior to addressing the answer, it is crucial to understand the background of how the Boxer RCH-155 is planned to be transferred to Ukraine. This all goes back to the military technical agreement between Germany and Ukraine. In July 2022, Ukraine requested modern howitzers and Iris tier defense systems from Germany. However, it wasn't until December of that year that the German government approved the sale, making Ukraine the first country to purchase Germany's advanced weapons. According to the report on the Welt am Sonntag, this transaction was the next phase of the German-Ukrainian military technical cooperation. The agreement also included plans to deliver the RCH-155 self-propelled artillery systems, proposed by Kraus Mafti Wegman. The German government's approval was required before the transfer of the Boxer RCH-155 self-propelled artillery systems could take place. After a two-month delay, permission was granted and Cross Matthew Wegman was licensed to manufacture and export the systems. The 18 self-propelled artillery systems are expected to be delivered in 2025, which is at least 30 months after the contract was signed, at a total cost of 216 million euros. Why is it called a weapon of Ukrainian victory? The Ukrainian government saw the acquisition of this advanced artillery system as a significant step towards enhancing their military capabilities, and it has been dubbed the weapon of Ukrainian victory by some sources. The acquisition of the Boxer RCH-155 was part of Ukraine's efforts to modernize and strengthen its armed forces in response to the ongoing conflict in the eastern part of the country. The high mobility and advanced capabilities of the Boxer RCH-155 make it a valuable asset for supporting ground troops during combat operations. In this context, the Boxer RCH-155 is seen as a symbol of Ukraine's determination to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Its acquisition also represents a commitment to modernizing the country's military capabilities to deter potential aggressors. Thus, the weapon of Ukrainian victory label is a reflection of the system's value and the Ukrainian military's efforts to strengthen its defenses. So what do you think? That's all for today's video. Don't forget to leave your thought in the comment below. Thank for watching.